What is going on, DMG Clan? Today I'm gonna to show you guys the last guide you'll ever need to set up Twilight Menu with your real-time save R4 card. So as long as it looks like these ones on the screen and loads a game called Bomberman. If your R4 card does not load a game called Bomberman and doesn't look like these cards on the screen, then this is not the guide for you. Make sure to check out the R4 card playlist. Make sure to check out any other R4 card playlist in the description of the video and pay attention because this guide will definitely work if you have these cards. So let's jump in and learn how to set up our R4 card that says real-time save on the front and Bomberman when you actually put it into your device and set this up. So that is right, mobile gamers. So as long as your R4 cards look like one of these ones, this guide will be for you. Also, the game that boots when you actually put it into your actual device is going to be called Bomberman. If you don't see Bomberman, that means that you don't have the right R4 card. You either have a Deep Labyrinth R4 card or you have these cards right here, which say also real-time save and revolutions, but these are fakes of fakes that basically load different games. One loads Star Wars, the other one loads, I think, SpongeBob Atlantis Pants. Also, this is another R4 card that kind of looks like this one, but it's not that one. This one's actually a 2025 version of the Smart Update card. But the big thing to note is that if you put even a blank SD card into your R4 card and you pop it into your device, whatever device you choose, and it loads a game called Bomberman, then this will be the guide for you. Now, as you confirm that, let's jump over to the computer because you need to have a computer to actually be able to get this to work. Unless you watch my Android guide, which allows you to do this with a card that's between eight and 32 gigabytes. Now, on the computer, we're going to download Twilight Menu, link in the description below, which is the latest version of Twilight Menu as of today. We're also gonna download the latest version of the add-ons which is a new way that they've set up twilight menu so if you don't want to use uh game boy emulator and all that kind of stuff then you don't have to do this but i recommend you to do it so download virtual console.7z the next thing we're going to do for this card specifically is we're going to download something called ys menu now ys menu allows us to use the default kernel to jump back over to the default kernel instead of using what is called bootstrap so download this again everything is in the description of the video and then navigate to this website right here which allows us to download the latest user cheat.dat file so download it double click on that file right there the one that says user cheat.dat and wait for it to download now i said in my video intro uh talking about micro sd cards i highly recommend you to only use a 32 gigabyte micro sd card reason why well you're never going to need more than 32 gigabytes of games on an r4 card you know why because no the r4 card does not play 3ds games get that out of the way because a lot of people think that the r4 card because it says 3ds on it somewhere which is right here that it plays 3ds games it doesn't it's just compatible with the 3ds it's also compatible with the ds the ds Lite, dsi xl dsi 3ds new 2ds new 3ds xl all the freaking ds consoles <laughs> the reason i say like that is because People always think, oh, does it work with the DS Lite? Uh, why wouldn't it? It was originally made for the DS and DS Lite. Get a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, minimum. I will put my favorite branded SD cards in the description of the video, obviously affiliated, but those, these are gonna be the cards that I recommend and that work for me. Now I'm just using an off-brand one here, this Coaxia one, because it was just sitting around and I'm not using it for anything else. So just choose a 32 gigabyte card and plug it into your computer. Now, here is my card right here. Right click on this and click format. Now, if you have anything larger than 32 gigabytes, which you can, you can watch my video linked below that teaches you how to format your SD card if it's larger than 32 gigabytes. Otherwise, if it's only 32 gigabytes or eight gigabytes, make sure that you set your allocation size to 32 kilobytes. Nothing bigger, nothing less. 32 kilobytes is what you need. Click start and format that card. Now, the root directory of this card is very important, okay? People don't understand things sometimes. The root directory means that when I double click on USB drive, this is the root directory of our actual SD card. Now, we're gonna go back over to our downloads and we're going to extract the Twilight menu first, okay? Extract this and you're going to get a little dialog window that asks you, are you sure you want to extract this file? Here it is right there, click extract, okay? Now that that's extracted, we're going to grab 
the boot.nds, the underscore NDS, and the ROMs folder. And you're going to right click and copy. Now minimize that window, go to your root directory of your USB drive or your SD card, and paste those right there. Now very important, we're gonna open up a notepad. So let's open up a notepad here, click on file, click open. Now navigate to your downloads folder, navigate to twilight menu, and you're going to look for this document right here, snemule.config, double click on it, and you're going to change the ROM directory for ROM path for SNES to forward slash ROMs forward slash SNES, just like so. And then make sure you click on file, click save as, and make sure you save it as the config file, just like this, and click save. Now the reason why I'm telling you this is because for whatever reason, Rocket Robs and his team still have not changed this properly, and you have to change this so that you can actually play your SS SNES games. Not all of them, by the way, work. I'm letting you know that. Now, we're going to navigate back to our download folder. You're going to grab that SNES or Snemule config file, navigate back to your root directory, and paste that there. Twilight Menu has it set up so that everything is kind of easy, okay? So, Auto Boot gives us access to Auto Boot directly into our Twilight Menu. Now, there is a readme file. I already know which one it is. It's, and the readme file will actually tell you, hey, which one you need, okay? So there's a whole bunch of them here. Now, because we are using the r4isdhc.com cards that say that also on the motherboard on the back of the card, then we need the folder or the files within the folder that says r4i-sdhc, which is this one right here. So grab these two files, right click, copy, navigate back to your SD card and paste it on the root directory of that SD card. Now, the reason why we downloaded YS menu, which is right here, is because there is no method for this card for the auto boot method or the kernel method. What I mean by that is if we go to downloads, go to twilight menu and see how there's an option for flash cart loader, there's no R4 ISDHC flash cart loader in here. I've checked the readme, I've tested things in the past, and there's no option. It's only YS menu that we can use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and extract YS menu. Now they have all the steps on their website as well. And you can try to follow those if you want to, if you find my video a little bit too hard, okay? But this is basically how I do it and this is how I got it to work. I'm gonna go back over to the website because the website tells you what you exactly need and you need this. So r 4 isdhc YS menu, you're going to need just the TT menu and YS menu.nds, okay? That's the only two files that you need. Inside the r4i-sdhc YS menu folder, right click on this, click copy. And I just know this because I've been doing this for a while and I know what I'm doing. So right click, paste that in there. Do not copy the TT menu.dat file. That will not work, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is navigate back to our downloads, right click on the add-on virtual console, right click it, extract all, and extract. And now you're gonna copy these two folders right here, right click and copy and you're going to paste them in the root directory right here. There we go. Now, that's all we need to do. Now, we also need to grab the user cheat.dat file, copy it, go to underscore NDS, Twilight Menu, and Extras. Paste that file right there. And now I'm gonna go in my ROMs folder, go to my NDS folder, and paste my game right there. So I'm gonna just copy and paste Final Fantasy III, just because somebody said they were having issues with Final Fantasy III, and I think it's something to do with how they set things up. So I'm just gonna prove them wrong. So that's it. Now we can basically close out of everything. And if you didn't wanna follow this entire video, you could have just basically downloaded the file pack by becoming a member on YouTube. I have the whole file pack already ready to go, but because it's such a big file, becoming a member helps me pay for my database. That's all it is. You complain about it, then learn how YouTube works these days. So let's jump back over to the device. So I'm gonna plug this in. I don't care which one I pick. I'm gonna pick whatever one. I'm gonna do the gold, okay? Just to make people happy because gold is nice. Make sure your SD card is seated in there properly and nicely, and then grab your device of choice and plug it in. And again, if you didn't see Bomberman, then that means that you followed this guide for nothing because I already said it three times in the beginning. So let's press A to play. So as long as you got into this menu, we're going to press A on GUI system. Scroll down until you see your region, mine is USA, and now you'll be inside of Twilight Menu. Now, I'm gonna show you just a couple things here for Twilight Menu, and I'm not gonna go really in depth with Twilight Menu because this is just a setup guide. I'm gonna go to my ROMs, I'm gonna go over to my NDS folder, and I'm going to go over to my game and press Y. This is gonna open up a menu. So what I said in the 
beginning about the YS menu thing. See how there's game loader kernel and game loader bootstrap? Just leave it at default for now because we're gonna use bootstrap and I know bootstrap works, but that's how you change things in there. Now for cheats, press X and then check whatever you want off, okay? So there's like miscellaneous cheats here. There's game time code cheats here, data related cheats, mail cheats, game enhancer code. So like save anywhere. Um, but the big thing is you have to make sure that you press save after you've actually activated a cheat. Also, some cheats tell you how things work. So press Y in the menu. This will allow you to save the game anywhere in the game. So make sure you read those as well. Very important is that you make sure you press X on this and then press back. Now, another very important tip, if you're playing Sega Genesis games, see GEN right here. I didn't put any in here, by the way, but some Sega Genesis games are .bin files. You need to change them to .gen. Just replace the .bin to .gen, and that's about it. Now let's click on the game that we just ended up setting up the cheat for, and let's load right into it. Now you can enjoy playing with Twilight Menu, which is a menu that basically gives you everything that you need to set up an R4 card in 2025 with Twilight Menu again, and enjoy playing your games, basically like they're native games, but if your native games are starting to hit the bucket, then you can use Twilight Menu and say, yeah, you know what I was gonna say there. What rhymes with bucket? Put it in the comment section below. Actually don't because YouTube will probably filter that out. And that's it guys. Hope that it was helpful. This is my last guide I'll ever do about Twilight Menu because Twilight Menu now works. And if you press L and down and select, you'll get into a little menu like this and then you can quit the game if you want to and play another game. That's a little bonus if you ever made it all the way to the end of the video. I'm at the main menu again. Now I can go play another game if I had any put on here.